Rivaling German luxury brands is a task that proves too daunting to most, and the compact sport sedan segment is arguably the most competitive of them all. Still, the IS sport sedan has historically struggled to stack up to BMW's benchmark 3 series. Change could be in the cards though, because the Beamer's growing decidedly softer and Lexus is standing poised to try to muscle in on their territory. It might come as a disappointment, but you'll end up choosing between the same two powertrains as you had in the second generation. The 2.5 makes 204 horsepower and 185 foot-pounds of torque. The 3.5 liter version makes 306 horsepower and 277 foot-pounds. Both the 250 and 350 models are available in all-wheel drive and can come with the F-Sport package. Expect a six-speed automatic on all of those cars except the rear-wheel drive 350 F-Sport, which gets the same eight-speed automatic as the ISF. The rear-wheel drive 250 will get an average 24 miles per gallon or 23 with the all-wheel drive. Of course, the sportier 350 is less efficient, although not by much, with an average 22 for the rear-wheel drive or 21 for the all-wheel drive models. That's a minor bump in efficiency for the larger engine, but overall, not much of a change at all from the second generation. What is different, though, is the styling, and it'll jump right out and bite you. The LED panels are now not a part of the headlight, and the entire front fascia is redesigned. Of course, we have the spindle grill that you've no doubt seen on the rest of the Lexus lineup, which with the F-Sport package gets even more aggressive. Moving around to the rear end, one of the most standout features is the tail lights. They wrap around the side of the car and give it a much sexier look. Not only that, but the F-Sport rims also set the car off. Speaking of F-Sport, let's have a look at the inside and what you get with that package. Lexus is a segment leader when it comes to things like interior quality, luxury, and tech. And it shouldn't come as any surprise, but this new IS falls right into that category as well. Of course, you get the little touchpad that makes navigating the infotainment system a breeze. You actually get weather updates and traffic updates via HD radio, subscription free. Regardless of which package you choose, the new seats in the IS are more comfortable than the outgoing model. For example, there's extra lumbar support in the rear seats. Bump it up to the F Sport package and you get these especially bolstered sports seats on the other hand that are only trimmed in the synthetic new luxe material. But the coolest standout feature with the F Sport package is undoubtedly the LFA inspired gauge cluster that slides to the right with just the touch of a button on the steering wheel. No matter what, when it comes to the Lexus IS cars, you're in for a sporting experience. After all, both of them are rear-wheel drive V6 powered sports sedans. But if you're a weekend warrior, somebody who wants to spend some time on the track, this, the IS350 F Sport rear-wheel drive specifically is the car for you. And that's true for a couple of reasons. First of all, you get the eight-speed transmission that's actually taken straight out of the ISF. Not only that, but you also get something called GAI, that's G-Force Artificial Intelligence, and when you leave the car and drive, this car is actually going to shift for you in an intelligent way, sensing what gear is best to be in, which is actually, according to Lexus at least, better than using the manual mode. But one way or another, there's no question that this is the best handling and most engaging Lexus IS ever built. Finally, one of the last things you get with the 350 F Sport is a Sport Plus mode that you won't otherwise have. Now that does a few things for you. Uh, first of all, it gives you a uh, tighter steering feel. Uh, it also tightens up the suspension. And finally, it actually gives you a different variable gearing ratio so that you get more performance out of the car's eight-speed transmission, which again is exclusive to the rear wheel drive 350 F Sport model. Track days are an awful lot of fun, but as anybody who takes them on a regular basis will be able to tell you, they can also get pretty expensive. People who are going to go for those track days more than likely are also going to opt for the 350 F Sport. And that's not what we're taking out here on the road test. Lexus says it expects to sell quite a few more of the 250 model, and that makes sense for a few different reasons. One, it's going to be better on gas. Two, it's going to be less expensive. And three, 
You miss out on some things, but for everyday driving, it's fine. You get a sport mode, normal mode, and eco mode, which gives you the option to have more spirited acceleration or to save gas at the same time. Does this car compete with the BMW 335i? Well, yes and no. From a sporting perspective, it just doesn't quite stack up and it's not as athletic. But then again, the Lexus is much easier to live with. It's comfortable, it's more simple to use, and it's nicer from a daily driver's perspective. So, if performance means the most to you, you better look elsewhere. But if you want something that's gonna be a more pleasurable daily drive, the new Lexus IS is certainly a car you need to consider. For more on this review and others like it, visit autoguide.com.